Hello fellow students. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about um, how um, Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan are both set to come back in a new Karate Kid film. Now, I am like kind of like have my reservations of the new Karate Kid film. Because we, I don't exactly know if this is supposed to be like a another reboot, um, kind of like the Jackie Chan film, or if this is going to be like a sequel. Um, and if this is a sequel, will this be a sequel to like the next Cry Kid film and totally dismiss the Cobra Kai show, or will it be? Kind of like a sequel to the Karate uh, Cobra Kai show, right? So this is um. So there's a lot of questions for me. So let's get into the heebie-jeebie, shall we? And he has to say heebie-jeebie, so judge me. Judge me all you want, actually. I don't care. Anyways, <laughs> get set for more Mr. Miyagi. Well, oh, sorry. Get set for more Miyagi Do action because a new Cry Kid movies on the way. The Hollywood Reporter reveals that Rob Machia will return as Daniel LaRusso in a new Karate Kid film, and he will be joined by Jackie Chan, who starred in a, re in a remake reboot something in 2010. The film will merge the two versions of the movie, I guess making it so that they can occur in the same universe. The film will ma merge, or sorry, I guess making it Okay, the new Cry Kid will be directed by Jonathan Entwistle and written by Rob Liber, and has a release date of December 13th of 2024. Machio and Jan appeared in the video announcing a search for the new Cry Kid, which let's um, read, shall we? Hi, okay. everyone. We've got big news. We're starring in a new Karate Kid movie together. That's big news. But we even have bigger news. Bigger than that? We're looking for next Karate Kid. That's right. The global search for the star of our new film starts right now. So let's wax on, wax off, everybody. You mean? Check it on, check it off, hang it up. Maybe the new Karate Kid will have to do it all. I'm excited. You excited? I'm very, very excited. Let's do it. Learn more about this new role. Submit your audition video. Okay. Okay. So, continuing with this article, I'll get back to the video later. I don't mean to be a busco, but can we maybe not? I adore Cobra Kai, but I don't want it to be the first in the huge cry kid even first resurgence. Just let it exist on its own and end when it's time. When it appears to be doing since the next season will be its last. It's achieved what almost no franchise revivals can, or revivals do, and become great. And if being honest, wait, sorry, I missed. And if I'm being honest, it clips even the original film. But now we're getting a new movie with a new karate kid learning either karate or kung fu. I don't see the remake. <coughs> 
I didn't see the remake, but apparently it takes place in China. It's about Kung Fu instead of, you know, karate. What is, what's the point of this? Didn't they just set up a whole bunch of new kids who been trained by Daniel? We're going to do all this again? How are they going to make it different this time? We've seen Daniel and Johnny Lawrence class with a modern world and prove their old methods are still valuable. What else did they say? The Cobra Kai not only works, but is as great as it turned out to be as a miracle. They should count their blessings and leave it at that. But this is Hollywood where dead horses will be zombified. Um, and somebody fight just to be beaten again. And I get Hi. what they're saying. I get what they're saying. Because, like, look, getting these two men, all, like, in the same movie, great. Like, I don't think many people will um exactly be mad if, like, Jackie Chan appears in, like, the Cobra Kai show, right? Because I think the beauty about the one, the only beauty about um, the karate, like the Jaden Smith karate kid um, film, the 2010 karate kid film, is that it was set in China, right? And yes, I was saying even in my uh, review of the movie of the 2010 Cry Kid film, that it feels like it was trying to, like, take everything that worked really well in the four Cry Kids films that came before it and merge it into one, and it felt overbearing. Um, I'm trying to think of how I can properly phrase this. The best part about the 2010 Cry Kid film being in China that and not really like really touching about Miyagi Do or Cobra Kai or now Eagle Fang as well is that now we can have like Jackie Chan being put into the Cobra Kai show. We can potentially even have Will Smith's son, Jaden Smith, be put into the Cobra Kai show if you wanted to. So there's already that way if they wanted to merge the 2010 Karate Kid film and bring it into the original Karate Kid universe in Cobra Kai. Right? Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them, like, this new Cry Kid film. Especially since we don't know if it's going to be, like, a sequel to the 2010 Cry Kid film. If this is going to take place in the uh, Cry Kid slash Cobra Kai universe. Or if this is going to be a completely new sequel. And, um, like, re a Cry Kid film. Where Jackie Chan is going to be the new Mr. Miyagi. And Dolph Machio is going to reprise his role as, um, of course, Stan LaRusso. Or maybe, like, a merger of the two. And like I said earlier, like, kind of a sequel to both, like, the um, Cry Kid films that were, like, was released in the 80s to early 90s. Um, because I think the next Cry Kid was, came out in 1993. And the, um, re, like, the Jackie Chan Cry Kid film that came in, they was released in 2010. Like, is this going to, like, merge those two and temporarily, like, kind of, like, ignoring the Cobra Kai show, which has been doing so well, which I agree with this article that I've read. Why not just, like, count their blessings and, like, stop with, like, whatever Cobra Kai 
ends. Because I don't know if it's going to come out this year. Cobra Kai is the final season or next year. I know, like, the SAG after strikes kind of, like, fucked up some of the um, production for, like, many projects in Hollywood. But I don't know. I don't know. I want to be excited about this. I genuinely do. I am a huge Karate Kid uh, fan. I l- love the Danny Lou Russo Karate Kid trilogy. I love the Hillary Swinks, the next Karate Kid film. I even love the Cobra Kai show. And yes, I said I love the Hillary Swink Karate Kid film. I know out of the four original ones, that gets like the, I feel like that one gets the most crap. But I think that one is better than a lot of people are saying. Um, point is, I think that um, if this is a sequel, if this going to acknowledge the uh, Cobra Kai universe, then maybe it could be good. Um, as a shot of winning the hearts of fans, if they do it correctly, because um, I forgot what it is to say. Um, I'll share a screen again, so you guys can um, crap, so you guys can uh, see with me. Right, but it says um in this part um I adore Cobra Kai, but I don't want it to be the da, 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 da. what is the point of this? Didn't they just set up a whole bunch of new kids who've been trained by Daniel? We're going to go through this again, and I have to admit, I uh, I'm in the camp where and that's. The, oh, um, why well, just read this line right here? Didn't they just set up a whole bunch of new kids who've been trained by Daniel? We're going to do all this again. Like, I don't, I don't know how I feel because, like, part of the charm of Cobra Kai is that I don't think. Many people expected that show to do well. Like, in this first season, I feel like there may be more people than not, and correct me if I'm wrong, where, like, maybe be, like, underestimating what, like, how good Cobra Kai was going to be. Five seasons in, and Cobra Kai is, like, one of the best shows around. Um, it... Cobra Kai is like, it honestly old, brings in the new, immerse in the, the two beautifully. And I'm with this, uh, this person who uh, made the article, like, what's the point of this? We, we're going to do this again when we just got, like, Danny LaRusso training a whole bunch of new kids to be essentially the next Karate Kids. And, like, two of those new karate kids so happen to be his son and daughter. And two of those kids so happen to be his high school rival's son and stepson. Like, what's the point of, like, this other, like, I don't get it. I I, I honestly want, I don't get it. And I, like I said, I do want to be excited about this. More excited that excited I am right now, and I think I guess I just need more information about this to really get excited about like to I like get excited about this or say this is dog shit. And I I'm not trying to be like a negative Nancy here because again I do want to be excited. I do want to go on here. 
and say, hey guys, guess what? We're getting a new Karate Kid film. This is so great. This is so awesome. Yay. I want that. I want to be like that. But right now I'm like, hmm. Mm. I don't know. So I guess at the moment, like, even though I, it might seem like I'm taking it this somewhat negatively, I am, I don't know how I feel about this. Because this will kind of feel like we're going through what essentially what we went through with Cobra Kai. And I'm not saying that. It will be uh, a bad movie because, by all accounts, this could be a good movie. But even if this is a good movie, better than the 2010 film, right? Let's pretend it's way better than the 2010 film because I agree the 2010 film was an eh remake. Let's pretend this Cry Kid film is good. It will still feel semi redundant. It will feel redundant to a certain degree of us having to go through, hey, we're going to see Daniel LaRusso take on another apprentice, per se, another student. Because we saw him do that in Cobra Kai with multiple um, Gen Seers. I would guess they are Gen Seers. Now, like, the only difference between that, the Cobra Kai version, and this version is that in the Cobra Kai, we saw Daniel essentially teaming up with his high school rifle, which now that they're buddy buddy in Cobra Kai current time. In the new Cry Kid, we'll be seeing Daniel LaRusso teaming up with Mr. Hans. It's so like, that'd be the only difference. So I'm like really hoping, like, I'm hoping this would be good. It would be, feel a little bit redundant. I'm extremely hesitant right now, so I don't really know how I feel about this, but whoever it gets casted, I wish you nothing but the best. I hope nothing but the best for the film. But I don't think we should like unless if like we get a um it's supposed to be a sequel to the Co Cobra Kai show. And like And the in story, you know, first is like good enough where like it takes Mr. Hans and Daniel LaRusso to find another the next Karate Kid. I don't think it's a good idea for them to um do this Karate Kid film, to be honest. I will give it a chance. I, I will give it a fair shake. One comes out, so I can, like, for those of you who are wondering what my feelings are towards the movie whenever it comes out, December 13th of next year, but, I don't know. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. I will talk to you, fellow mutants, later.